We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Baltimore Orioles and the Toronto Blue Jays. Major League Baseball on MLB Network is next. Hyunjin Ryu gets the ball for the Blue Jays in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, I'm really excited to watch this guy in this one. He strung together a solid season up to this point. ERA in the low twos, and that's not an easy thing to do in this day and age of high-scoring games and home runs and teams filled with guys that can hit throughout the lineup. This is a really good pitcher. Now at the plate, Andrew Velasquez. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First pitch on its way. First pitch of the ball game misses here, and that's how we begin this four-game weekend set. Look, guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matty, I know they lost their last game, but you know as well as I do, in this sport, you have to have short-term memory. You have to let it go. They can get it going back in the right direction today. Now the 2-0 home. Gets him to chase a ball out of the zone for the first strike. Classic case of the front shoulder flying open on that off speed. Needs to stay compact and stay in the big part of the field. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Oh, and a good curveball gets him swinging for the first out of the evening. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He'll step in here at 275. Two home runs and eight runs batted in. The wind up and the 0 1. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Hey, not a very big strike zone, but a strike zone that kind of moves around a little bit too much for my liking. Yeah, Dan, I know there's not a clear scouting report with Daryl. I'll tell you what, you're going to know in the first two innings where he's going to be. He's got it. Throw in time at first for out number two. That'll hurt. The right field, number 15. Ray. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, Matt, I think the cleanup hitter might be the difference in this game. He hit seven home runs last month. That's a legit power threat. When you start looking at that over the course of a long season, he's putting up some big numbers. This guy's got great power. First pitch of the at bat. At the ball. A ball of no strikes. Count one and oh. Drilled to the left side, and that's through for a hit. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. And here's Renato Nunez, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Nope. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. 
hey that two seam fastball is going to be the be all end all of this game right here who's going to execute is the pitcher going to be able to keep going to that well or is the offense going to be able to make an adjustment and hit that ball in the gap grounded to first Shaw gloves it and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over Orioles leave one Orioles nothing Blue Jays coming up more baseball after this on MLB Network. Wade LeBlanc is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Baltimore. Dan, any thoughts? You know, Matt, he wasn't all that bad in his last one. In a day and age where we don't see a lot of complete games, six full innings in his last one, and if they can score him a few runs, he has a chance to win this one here today. Into the box now, Joe Pennant. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. The, day, the second baseman, Joe Pennant. From the stretch. And he lays off there 1 0. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they come in winners of two straight and looking to get things turned around in what hasn't been all that amazing a stretch for them. Yeah, Maddie, I always felt like these were huge games, whether it's earlier in the season or later in the season, to find a way to get to 500. You feel like you can start fresh and start pushing in a different direction. You cannot continue to ride that seesaw of win one lose one this team has to get hot starts today three and oh now three on the count Now here's the pitch, and he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. And you can tell by his body language that he's beyond frustrated by that call. He's got to be wondering what he's got to do, but the last thing he needs to do is to let it get under his skin. That will only make things worse. Now batting, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. As a look, now the pitch. Now the 0 1. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0 and 2. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. And a pitch takes off inside and gets away. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, now might be a good time to make a visit to the mound. Your pitcher walks the first batter and allows him to get into scoring position with the wild pitch. Got to settle him down and make sure everything's all right physically. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Adam Eaton is on deck. He'll hit next. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The next 3-2. And this pitch misses here as well. Back to back walks now, but at least that'll put the force back in order here. Some guys that take a little time to find the zone, but with the second walk of the first inning, it might be a little more than just settling in here. Not sure how long of a leash they'll give him, but they're not going to let him walk the world out there. In now is Adam Eaton. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh, 
Oh, and that looked like the very definition of flailing there. It's even at one. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Nope. Lays off the fastball low, and it goes to two balls and a strike. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Now the 2-1 pitch. Oh, double play ball to second. Four. There's one. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Batting four. Not four stop. Loaded. Stepping up to the plate, Lourdes Gurriel. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. First delivery to him on the way. A fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. With some traffic on the base pass, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. As a look, now the pitch. Lifted down the line in left. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Here's the 0 and 2. Ground ball to second. This could be two. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. They're off to the second, scoreless on MLB Network. All set for the start of the inning, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander. First pitch on its way. And it's fouled away. A one pitch on its way. A swing and a ground ball to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is good. All right, guys, time for a look at how the Toronto Blue Jays set up on defense today. And let's take a look at Joe Panic. I call him the big fundamental because he does nothing wrong on the defensive side of the ball. He has got ice water in his veins and the ability to turn one of the best double plays in baseball. Austin Hayes the next to bat as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one he comes in with that average down in the 240s four home runs 18 driven in and they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time and it's 2 and 0 now. Too high, oh, right and there. it's three and zero. Oh. That one's in there, three and one. A full count now for the Orioles center fielder. Three and two. Good battle. Count remains full. Another payoff pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And there are two away now. That is seven. 
the catcher, Adley Rutschman. Now to the plate, Adley Rutschman. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. First pitch on its way. Bounce to first. Shaw fields it cleanly, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for the Orioles. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So stepping in, Bo Bichette, and he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. First offering on its way. Swung on and missed its 0-1. Well, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. One ball, two strikes. Yeah. Fastball hey. called. Strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. That is good. Here's Randall Gritchick. Right Comes field. off an 0 for 4 right in ball. last night's ball game. Gritchick. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Grounded back up the middle. Reined in. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Batting seven. The first baseman. Travis. Shaw. Coming to the plate now, Travis Shaw. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, this one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Shaw has had a nice campaign so far and fans are noticing. He comes into today as the American League's second leading vote getter at first base in fan balloting. Yeah and he's been having an excellent season to date making a push towards that all star game. Hey fans get out there and vote. This guy sits in second place but I'm sure he'd like to be named starter. The 1-1. One, one. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. The one two. Bottom of the second here with no score. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. We'll move to the third with no score. Stepping into the box, Ramon Urias. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Urias. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends that his hitting gone. streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six Yo. days in a row with mm -hmm. knocks will help you sleep better at night, Dan. Rio Ruiz to the plate now. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Hernandez will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now that Number 88. 
Stepping in and ready for another shot, Andrew Velasquez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. He's set. Here it comes. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Over to first, Ryu. Runner back safely. Urias, base runner at first with one out. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. A ball and two strikes to the Orioles shortstop. Great arm action on that two strike changeup right there, but even better job at the plate to take that one. Now a throw over to first, and he'll get back in safely. Working for the punch out and the offering. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Runner on first in a double play situation. So you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone. So I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. At the plate now, Hanser Alberto. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. One and no delivery. Line to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Check that out right there. I love me some of that. Staying inside the baseball, moving it the other way. Sometimes a pitcher can execute his pitch, but doesn't mean the batter can't grab a knock. So here's Trey Mancini, and he sends it the other way toward right center. Right fielder is on the run, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And not in time as the second run scores. And from the list of stats you never want to hear if you're a pitcher, we have this. It's only the third inning, and he's already allowed more hits than he did in his entire last outing. So now to the plate, Renato Nunez. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. A bouncer up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Orioles two, the Jays nothing. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring in Danny Jansen. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Popped him up. Rutschman has a play. One away. Every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop-up to start the inning. Set to get his evening at the plate started to Oscar Hernandez. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. First delivery to him on the way. Bases are empty. One man out. Nope. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. 
Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Ground ball left side, defense set up perfectly. On to first, and very quickly, two are gone here in the home third. Now batting, the second baseman. Go! Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the former St. John's University standout, Joe Panic. Here comes the first pitch. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fouls this one off. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. He's got it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Blue Jays go down in order. They're still down. It's 2 0. All set for the start of the fourth. And coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Anthony Santander. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a liner, but foul. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Right side. And this gets through into right, so he turns the 0 and 2 count into a leadoff base hit. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is, they're looking to line them. Drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two strike adjustment, able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Stepping in now, Austin Haynes, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Good pitch there down below the zone, got him to go after it. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee try and get you to ground into a double play you have to set your sights at least belt high hoping to send him packing pitch on its way so the intent of that 0 2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike if you get it well hey that's great but if you get it inside enough and he does make contact he probably can't do anything with it anyway and we're even at two and two. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Eaton is under it. One out. Now that is Tetris. Adley Ruckman. In now, Adley Rutschman. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Orioles lead it two to nothing. 
ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. settles in at the plate. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Out in front of it, strike one. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Oh, that's okay. Fly ball out toward left center field. Under it is Hayes, and that's the first out of the inning. The center fielder, number two, Adam. Ethan. So one away here with the bases empty and the next to bat is speedy Adam Eaton. Here's the first pitch to him. A oh, fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. No runs no hits and no errors in the game for Toronto. A ball and a strike. Ball one strike. One and two now to Adam Eaton. That's a tough curveball right there to stay into as a lefty hitter. That ball looks like it's almost going to hit you, and it breaks over the inside half of the plate. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. So with two gone here in the fourth let's check out our pitch no speed comparison for the two starters and you can see a pretty fair size differential there 94 for one guy just 88 for the other. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Lourdes Gurriel and then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now feels like we're seeing a lot of three up three down innings. No doubt about that Matt. Hey I've enjoyed watching him go about his business but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah that remains to be seen. First delivery to him on the way. One oh. The 1 0 home. Ball. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's 2 and 1 now. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches. Anything on the outer half of the plate is going to look a foot outside. Two two here it is frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning one two three go the Blue Jays they trail things here two to nothing new inning set to get underway and set to go is the second baseman Ramon Urias Ramon Urias first pitch on its way runs up and gets this one down. Throw to first will get him as they pounce on it quickly to snuff out the bunt attempt. Well, he was planning that before he even got in the box, and he got it down, but it wasn't quite good enough to put him on board. Ready for another chance? Rio Ruiz. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And now the second pitch of the inning is popped up over on the left side of the infield. In time to first, and there are two away. The batter, number 88. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Andrew Velasquez. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Now the pitch. 
Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. I love the fact that this batter continues to be aggressive, but after striking out twice already, maybe he's got to take a step back, see the ball a little bit deeper, and be willing to work deep into the count. And this is taken. It's a ball and a strike now to the Baltimore shortstop. High in the air out towards shallow right. Grichuk is there and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Orioles as they're unable to add to their 2 nothing lead. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Thank you, Heidi. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And into bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. If they want to get things going, how about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Oh, one pitch on its way. Nope, upside. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Now the 2 1 pitch. The count now at 2 and 2. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And that's the first hit in this one for the Blue Jays. Hey guys, that's an excellent piece of hitting right there. A good change up down and away gives most batters problems. But trying to think the other way from an offensive standpoint, excellent job. Striding in, Rendell Gritcher comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Line to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The first baseman, number six, Robert. So digging in next will be Travis Shaw. And so look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Well, they've yet to hang a number on the scoreboard, but it looks like they've got a great opportunity from the breakthrough. Going to be pretty demoralizing if they can't. None out, runners at first and second. Check swing as he pops this one on to the right side. Urias is there, and he's got it for the first out. The batter, number nine. Up next is Danny Jansen. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First offering on its way. First and second now, one man out. Hot shot down the line, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two.
can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh. Fouled away. Here he comes again, 1-2. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Santander waits on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Next to the Blue Jays, the left fielder, Teoscar. Teoscar Hernandez digging in now, and we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Set and the pitch. Nope. Looks like a lefty and a right-hander throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Two and zero to the Jays' left fielder. What a great opportunity to come through right here. Two zero count. Runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Upper part of the zone there, but taken for a strike. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at bat. Okay. Swing, strike two. Got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Blue Jays leave a pair. They're down two to nothing. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and set to go is the third baseman, Hanser Alberto. Alberto. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yep, that ball went out. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The right fielder, number 15, Trey Mancini. In now for the O's, Trey Mancini. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. Pulled high in the air out to left field. On the run is Hernandez. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. The batter, the designated hitter, Renato Nunez. So now the Oriole cleanup hitter, Renato Nunez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now.
tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Two out, nobody on. Ah, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. And the pitch. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They're up two to nothing. Here's Joe Panic. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. First pitch coming. Here it is. In there, no balls and a strike. Panic, the former New York Met, he became a member of this team after signing as a free agent earlier this season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to get to know them is to go out and produce. The 1-1. One -one. Ground ball right side. And that's out number one. Now batter. The third baseman. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. One out now in the Toronto sixth inning. And that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. First pitch on its way. Pitch on the way. There's a drive out toward the gap in left center. He's through first and hustling for second. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. So a double into the gap has him in business here with one away as he moves into double digits now as we check out the team leaderboard that is 10 for him here on the campaign. Adam Eaton digging in next and it's grounded just foul down the line. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. one and this one gets away and he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch that can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third you have to be sure you can make it he was there and now he's only 90 feet away Looking to punch him out again. The pitch swung on in the dirt. Strike three. And he makes the throw to first. Eaton is retired. Two down now. Good pitch there. That was a nice job by his battery mate to complete the play first after the ball hit the dirt. Stepping in, Lourdes Gurriel, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Out of play. So far this year against Southpaws, Gurriel is hitting just over the benchmark 300 plateau. Source of pride for him, I'm sure. You want to talk about having a career season, Matty. This guy's batting average is through the roof, one of the best in the business. And maybe more importantly, his OPS is through the roof as well, which means he's doing it with damage. The 1-1 home. 
hits it high and deep out to center field. Hayes on the run for it. To the track, to the wall. Out of here to the deepest part of the yard. Two run shot to straight away center. Number 11 for him on the season as the Blue Jays have rallied back to tie it at two. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Here comes the Baltimore skipper out of the dugout on his way to the mound, and a change is coming here, and that's going to do it for Wade LeBlanc. Won't get a decision in this one, but except for a few mistakes, he pitched pretty well here this evening. Hector Velasquez, a right-hander standing six foot even, will take over the pitching duties here. Hector Velasquez. The designated hitter. Whoa. Into the box, Bob Bichette. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. A hit in two tries for him so far. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Line drive, base hit. So a ringing single here to center field makes it two hits for him on the night. And as we call on the team leaderboard, you can see that he currently paces the Blue Jays in that category. Randall Grichik at the plate now. Oh, and he'll take a look at ball one. He's one for two in this one. The one and oh delivery. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Hey, guys, he's lucky he's getting his baseball back. He hung that middle of the plate. The batter's eyes lit up, and he was able to put Goodwood on it. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw as he rips it on the ground to second. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And the go-ahead runs in to score as they break the tie. It's 3-2. to two. He took that yeah, back yeah. right where it came Go from. Nice down. ribby knock right up the chute there. Yeah, a little bit frustrating as a pitcher. You, know, you always hear that, hey, you want to make yourself one of the defenders. But that ball was hit just out of his reach, right up the middle, base hit, and another run batted in. At the plate, Danny Jansen. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue of this inning. Matt, a hit here could really fire up that dugout.
looking to keep this a one run game the pitch fastball too high to start him out here one and oh somebody's getting frustrated he's not used to getting hit around like this three runs already home here. hit the other way out toward right field and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning but they strike for three in the inning two on this two run home run the five six and seven hitters to start the seventh it's now three to two Toronto. Welcome back here's Heidi Watney with the report as we get set for the top of the seventh Heidi. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Orioles' offense with their manager between innings, and one thing he stressed to me is the need for them to have more competitive at-bats the rest of the game. He said their at-bats are just way too short right now. Too many of their outs are coming after seeing only one or two pitches, which is allowing the opposition to keep pitch counts low and get back to hitting without much effort. Going forward, he hopes they can figure out how to make them work a little bit harder for every out. Off for the Orioles. Okay, thank the you, Heidi. Number 25, Anthony... First pitch of the at bat. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold 0 and 2. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher. Able to pound his zone with all different options. The 0-2 home. Ball one. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Here's a pop-up now. Guerrero is there. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now back. So yet another strong outing for him tonight as we show you the league leaders in ERA. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Coming to the plate now, Austin Hayes. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. And he will make the play out there and there are two away now. Now batter. The catcher. Adley Rutschman. So digging in now. Adley Rutschman. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. First offering on its way. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first digging for two. And he will get in there with his first big league hit a double. And there's probably no happier person in the ballpark. Adley Rutschman has just collected his first hit in the big leagues. And as is customary, there's the ball being sent into the dugout. Someone will tuck it away for him to put in his trophy case. Yeah, good for him and congratulations. Listen, he's worked his entire lifetime for this moment. And he's on top of the world. In now, Ramon Urias, as he'll take a changeup here for strike one. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in these ABs. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to open. Ready with the 0 and 1. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Hey, with first base open, pitcher's definitely going to nibble and try and see if the hitter expands his own. Oh, 
down. He gets a fastball up in the zone, and he hammers it out to deep left field. And this baby is gone. A home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Seven home runs for him on the year now as they take the lead four to three. And we'll employ the use of our show track technology to get a better idea of that home run. And you see it there, 111 miles an hour off the bat. He certainly squared that one up well. Now back, the first baseman, Rio Ruiz. At the plate, Rio Ruiz. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound. And to check swing and not chase that one puts himself right back in the count. A 1 1. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Long run for the right fielder. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. But the Orioles strike for two thanks to the two-run home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. 4-3 Baltimore. Stepping in for the Jays to Oscar Hernandez. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. This thing's far from over even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. One and oh, the count. Now the pitch. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo shot here to left. Third home run for him on the year as that'll pull him even at four apiece. Big time at bat right there. Team trailing and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out. Blake now, Joe Penn, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. No hits to this point. The 0 1 on its way. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Hard hit toward the hole. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. What a nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. Stayed on the attack. Kept his hands inside the ball and took what the pitcher gave. Into the box now. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. As he'll swing at the first pitch and bang one into right center field. That's a base hit. Rowe will hold him at second, but the go-ahead runs in scoring position now with still nobody out. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up.
Digging in, Adam Eaton. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, he, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Here's a shot to right field, and that's going to be in for a base hit. And the go-ahead run will move up to third and wisely hold no there no with no nobody out. No nice piece of hitting right there. It looked yeah. like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get to third base. So look now the pitch a bullet to first base and they'll run him down and tag him out between first and second a double play now that the designated hitter oh. yeah. coming forward now the Toronto designated hitter Bo Bichette for his career in this matchup he's two for three First delivery to him on the way. Nope, the ball. ball one as he lays off below the zone. So far this season with runners in scoring position, Bichette brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. And this one's on the inside corner, one and one. Second and third, two away. On the ground to the right side and through a base hit. And the go-ahead run will score from third as they've taken the lead here in the late going. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them, but when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does, especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one that makes you feel really good about yourself. So now to the plate, Randall Gritcher. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. So far, two for three in this one. The 0 1 offering. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Sinker, and that's ruled strike two. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Lofted in the air out to right field. Mancini makes the catch for out number three. So two runs on five hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Blue Jays five and the O's four. So striding in, Andrew Velasquez. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Number 88. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. Uh, started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And he'll step off. One one. One and two now. Oh. 
Still a ball and two strikes. The one two is taken for ball two. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Therefore it is Eaton and he's got it for the first out. Now that and in a 5-4 game, let's give you a look at the starter comparison to see how these two guys stack up against one another. Ready now, Hanser Alberto. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch of the at-bat. Nope. Low for ball one. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Non competitive pitch right there runs the count to 2 0, and he is ready to do some damage in the box. And now pitch on the way. Outside, 3 0 now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Here it comes, the 3 0. He is looked at for the first strike. And he lays off ball four, so now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Time called here, as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up the power-hitting outfielder, Trey Mancini. So now the Jays manager will make his way out toward the mound. And that will be the last we see in this one of Hunjin Ryu. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Justin Miller gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the eighth. Number 50, Justin Miller. the stretch runners on the move for second strike taken the throw and it skips in as he steals the bag easily here comes the 0-1 and boy was he ever fooled on that pitch it's 0-2 now Runner at second here with one man out. Low and away with that one. It's one and two. Good pitch there on 0 and 2. Breaking ball out of the zone away. Might set up another breaking ball to see if he'll chase this one a little bit farther off the plate.
Working for the punch out and the offering. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the back door a little bit, he would have picked up that backwards K. And this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Gone! A two-run shot that gives them the lead. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left as they've taken a one-run lead. Standing in now, Renato Nunez. Weak grounder down the line at third. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. O-1 count. Here's the pitch. One ball, one strike. It's one and two. One out, nobody on. Sharp ground ball to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first. The left field, number 25, Anthony Santander. Anthony Santander the next to bat and he tries to hold back on the swing but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway it's nothing in one he's working on a one for three thus far he's set here's the 0 1 fouled off runner at first here one man out Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. The one-two. Hard hit ball to second. Panic is there. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. But the Orioles strike for two thanks to the two-run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. It's the Orioles six, the Blue Jays five. Tanner Scott is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 66, Tanner Scott. Chris Davis has come into the ball game now as he takes over as the new third baseman. Chris Davis. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And that brings up the left-handed hitter, Travis Shaw. The first baseman, Travis Shaw. First pitch of the at-bat. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Pitch on the way. And it's one and one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. The one one. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first, he's digging for second. 
he'll get in at second base as the time runs aboard with a leadoff double. He obviously didn't let last night's hitless outing get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. Now in the box, Danny Jansen, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Derek Fisher will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Now running at second base. Number 23, Derek Fisher. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Looking for a productive at bat here. Get that runner from second over to third. Evens it up one and one. No one out with a runner at second. A one and two count to the Blue Jays signal caller. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92. You can usually see seams. 92 to 95 it starts to really quicken up on you over three digits you're seeing a white blur pitch is mishandled behind the plate and it bounces away but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance here now the 2-2 locks him up for strike three well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. So that will bring in Teoscar Hernandez as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. and all. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. Ooh that was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And a left-handed batter waiting on deck, though there's a good shot he might get pulled back. The three-one. Finds the zone to fill the count, three and two. One out, one on, and a one-run game. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And that'll bring up the former St. John's University standout, Joe Panic. He's set. Here it comes. This is on the ground over to first. One there. And good hustle by the pitcher there on the back end as it's a three to six to one double play, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. We played eight full. The Orioles are on top, six to five.
Derek Fisher will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Now playing first. All set to start the ninth in this one and standing in the outfield. Ken Giles enters the game from the pen, and because this is a non-save situation, it's evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't a chance to... Come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Captain Fizio. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Ready with the 2-0 pitch. And here's a fastball for a strike. 2-1 and one now. He's fallen behind now. 3-1. and one. Adley Rutschman is on deck. The 3-1. Is swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Now the three and two pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Good pitch right there to run the two-seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball as the result. Digging in and looking for more, Adley Rutschman. He came across to score after doubling in his last at-bat. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one, his last at-bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A-B. No balls in one strike. Oh, one pitch. Oh, that low. One run game here in the top of the ninth. A ball and two strikes to the Baltimore backstop now. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. The one two. ball sent back up the middle and that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit it's the best competition in all the sport the pitcher against the batter right there he fouled off multiple pitches refused to go down not only did he get a knock but he ran some pitch total up too.
stepping in now. Ramon Urias tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. He's two for three and looking for more here. And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. Ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. That's what you call clipping the outside corner. Great movement on that slider. And it completely locked up the hitter. Didn't fool the umpire, though. At the plate, Rio Ruiz. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. One oh count here it is and it's fouled away. Now the one and one pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Hernandez is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. One left for the Orioles. They lead it, however, it's six to five. Michael Givens is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. Number 60, Michael Givens. Riding into the box, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The third baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Here's the first pitch to him. Sends that one out of play for strike one. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. One and one. Givens has become one of the more dominant bullpen arms in the sport today, and a big reason is his swing and miss stuff really helps him pitch out of tough situations. Yeah, Matty D, and I think what we're seeing more and more out of the game of baseball right now in the eighth and ninth inning, big power arm guys that have really two good pitches that they can strike you out with, and that's what this guy is here. If he doesn't have one, he has the other, and if he has them both, he's nearly impossible to make contact off of. Now better. The center fielder, Adam Eaton. So striding forward now, Adam Eaton. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. He's set and the pitch. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. And he fouls this one off. A 1-1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. A runner at first with no outs here. in the air out to center field. Under it is Hayes and that's the first out of the inning. The batter number 13. Good stop. Loaded. 
And now the Toronto number four hitter, Lourdes Gurriel. And he'll be trying to replicate that home run swing that he took back in inning number six. As a look, now the pitch. And he runs it in on him and gets him to swing through it for strike one. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Swing here, but this is in there for a called strike two. Runners on first with one down. And a half hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Hey, not too often we see this hitter come outside his game plan, outside the zone, but that pitch was just so tempting. Fouled away. Final strike for the Blue Jays. It's sharply toward third. And the two out thunder. This might set up a play at the plate. That's what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right there. He's lucky he's getting his baseball back. So stepping in, Rendell Gritcher, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And with first base open, it looks as though they'll go after the next guy with the force at any base now in order and two men gone. The first baseman, number eight. At the plate, Kevin Biggio has got the potential tying run at third, the winning run at second base. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Rounded softly down the line toward first. Fouled off. Two big outs here, but the tying and winning runs are both out there. Nope. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off. One and two. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. From the stretch, the one-two. Oh, hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. And it's fouled away. Misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Gotta love a late rally, and listen to this crowd now. They are really into this. And 
and this ball swung out and hit to center field and this should do it and he'll make the catch and the Orioles have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over well that's what you call flirting with disaster right there tying run on third winning run on second but that's where they stay hangs on to get the save and that's all that matters and tonight's one run game comes to an end six to five the final Baltimore came through late taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory Richard Blyer earns his third win of the year in relief Michael Givens records the save his 14th so that's a wrap for us in this one Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak Heidi Watney Matt Vaskersian we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network see you next time our final line score tonight first for the victorious Orioles Six runs, ten hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Blue Jays, five runs, 15 hits, no errors. They left 13 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 31 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.